Have you ever struggled with monitoring your home infrastructure? Do you need some help setting it up? Come with me as I set up Zabbix to monitor my growing home lab. Hello and welcome to IT Bible. My name is Connor and today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up Zabbix for monitoring of my home lab. For those who don't know, Zabbix is an open source monitoring platform that you can use to monitor your home lab or even your enterprise environment. It's pretty simple to set up, so let's get over to the computer and get started. Okay, so now let's uh, go ahead and create our VM. We're going to clone this, this template here. Um, I don't think I have a video on templates in Proxmox yet, but I do have the setup of Proxmox and how you can set it up in your home lab. We're going to name this VM monitor, monitoring test. We're going to make it a full clone. So we're going to let it clone. And then once it, once the link is broken, we'll come back and configure the rest of it. Okay, so now the link has been broken, so we can start changing things. We're going to make our user, we're going to name him Connor, put our password in, our DNS domain is going to be lab.route2.xyz. Lab I'm going to set our DNS servers. I've got my SSH key already configured. So 50 24. And we'll set our IP information and we're going to go ahead and start the VM. So once I start the VM for the first time, I do pay attention and make sure that it boots. And then once it boots, we'll switch over to uh, an SSH client. Okay, so we booted just fine. So let's go over to our SSH client and we'll connect. Our passphrase in, and then we will go ahead and just continue past this next prompt that pops up. Now I am running this VM off of a old um, laptop so it is a little slower than normal or you know at times okay so now we have the OS installed we're just gonna run through real quick and we're going to download the Debian package that we need and this command will be in the in the description below we're gonna go sudo dpkg dash I I say dpackage a lot of times we're going to do Zabbix release 6.2 Ubuntu. We're going to say OK. And then we're going to do apt update apt sudo apt update. Let the install or the update run. And then we're going to do apt sorry sudo apt install. We're going to say my SQL server. You, 
probably might not have to do this at the time you're watching this video, but in my testing that I did, it didn't actually ever install my SQL server. So I had to do it separately. So now we're going to make sure we also hit get Zabbix server MySQL. Zabbix front end PHP. Zabbix Nginx config. Zabbix SQL scripts, and then Zabbix agent. So we're gonna go ahead and see where my typo is. It's not Zabbix con Nginx config, it's comp. So let's go ahead and say yes to all that and let the install go. Here we're gonna go ahead and say, just restart the ones that are selected. So you hit tab and enter, and then we should be good to run the next commands. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure MySQL is actually running. So I'm gonna do psax grep MySQL. And you, as you can see, it is running right here. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna log into the database and do my sudo mysql-u root. And since I'm running it as root, we don't have to actually put a password in. I will say there's more you should do to secure your MySQL installation on this video or than what, than what I'm providing you in this video. So if you want more in that, you can follow, go over to our forms or you can uh, leave a comment below and maybe I'll make a video on it. Speaking of videos, uh, let's go to in real life Connor and uh, take a look at what he's got to say. While I have your attention, please click that subscribe button down below. It lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And if you want to get notified when I upload my next video, click that bell. Okay, so now that you've subscribed, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Now we're, we've logged into MySQL again. So let's go ahead and create create our database. So create database. We're going to name it Zabbix or whatever you'd like. We're going to set that character set to uh, UTF-8 MB4 and we're going to set a col collation UTF-8 MB4 underscore bin. Now we're gonna create our user. So create user, Zabbix at local host. Identified by password. Um, where I put password here, you're gonna to wanna to put your actual password that you want. So we're gonna hit enter there. And then we're gonna grant, grant the privileges to that user. So grant all. on Zabbix, so that's the database name there. And then we're gonna say on every table within this database to Zabbix at localhost. And now we're gonna uh, set a global variable real quick. So we're setting log bin trust functions create function creators to one. And we will end up setting that back to zero here shortly. 
And then we're going to go ahead and say quit. So now we've created our database, set the user and password, and gave the user and password permissions, as well as uh, set a global function which we'll need for this in, for this next step. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use zcat user u, user share Zabbix SQL scripts or MySQL and server.sql.gz and we're going to pipe that to sudo oops sudo mysql database equals zabbix default default character set ut F8 MB4 and U Zabbix and P. So now we're going to put password, that one we created for our Zabbix user. And now this is going to take a minute, but it's going to import a bunch of data from that, that server.sql.gz file into the database. So let's let that run and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so now the database has been imported, so let's go ahead and go back into our database. So my sudo, we're gonna go back in as root. We're gonna go set global log bin trust function creators, and we're gonna set that back to zero. Log bin trust function. Okay, so what I did, I made a typo here, so it's. So now we set that back to zero. And we're gonna go ahead and quit. Wait. Even though I typoed, it still let me quit. So now we're gonna configure the database configuration for the Zabbix server. So we're gonna go. In, in my case, I'm going to do sudo nano, because I'm going to use nano here. etc or etsy zabbix zabbix underscore server dot conf. So and then I'm going, to, I'm going to go control w so I can search in this file. And I'm going to search for d b password or p. Then I'm going to add this line here, db password equals password. So in my case, it's actually password, but in your case, it might be something different. So we're going to go control X, Y and enter. So save that. And now we're going to adjust the in Nginx config. So we're going to do sudo nano Etsy Zabbix nginx config i'm just for this instance i'm just gonna remove that hash pound sign or hashtag symbol in front of this line we're gonna save that and exit so control uh x y and then enter again and now we're gonna start the services so we're gonna do system sudo system control restart Zabbix server, Zabbix agent, nginx, and PHP 8.1, .fpm. And you can leave dot .service there if you want, or you can uh, backspace it out like I did. So we just restarted all the services, 
Now we want to make sure that they start on startup. So I'm going to take restart out and type in enable. So it would be sudo system control enable Zavx server, Zavx agent, nginx, php 8.1, hit enter again. It's going to go through and start the surface or make sure that they're set to start at startup. So now let's go over and back to our web browser. We're going to open a new tab here. We're going to go to our browser, which is 192.168.1.50. And if you remember the port, which I did not, it's going to be port 8080. And we're going to get to this Zabbix setup page. Since I'm in, in the US, I'm going to say English US, hit next. I'm going to make sure all these are OK here. Hit next again. Configure the database connection. So I'm MySQL. It's going to be a local host. It's going to use the default port. The database name is Zabbix, of course. User is Zabbix because that's what we made it. My password is going to be password. Hit next step again. Server name. I'm just going to name this server video test. I'm going to set my time zone to negative 5. Chicago. My default theme I'm going to set to dark. And hit next one more time. It's going to confirm all of the stuff we just set. And we'll hit next. And it will say congratulations. So now we're going to log in with admin and the password of Zabbix because that's the default username and password. And now you are in your Zabbix installation. The first thing I'm going to do, and that, since I'm here, is I'm going to go to admin users. I'm going to change this admin user over here to Connor, name Connor, last name blank. Leave that the same. I'm going to update it. I probably don't need to do it this way, but I always update and then I'm coming back to change the password. Hit that and then we can make sure that um, we can sign out sign back in with my new username and password and make sure it's all good and that's it thank you for watching i hope this was informative and helpful for you if you have any questions be sure to comment below if you've made it to this point and want to help me out even more please and you don't have anything else to comment please comment down below and say that was super super helpful Please be sure to click subscribe and click that bell to get notified next time I upload. If you want to watch some of my other videos, click here or here. Why are you still here? Click one.